Hi, my name is Leanne Thomas, and today I'd like to share with you a great game that I've invented to help your students learn the rock cycle. It's called Rock On. As you know, the rock cycle is a pretty complicated process. And rather than students having to memorize all of this, I invented a game to help walk them through this and get to know it without even thinking about that they're learning it. The deck of cards has the three rock types, sedimentary card, uh, rocks, metamorphic rocks, igneous rocks, and then the two rock precursors, magma and sediments. There are also cards for the processes that the rocks go through as they're changing from one rock type to another. As they melt, cooling and crystallizing, weathering and erosion, cementing, and heat and pressure, changing one rock type to another. So how do you play this game? Let me show you. The object of the game is to get rid of all your, your cards. And the first thing that you do is deal out seven cards to each player. So let's pretend that we have three people playing cards. Four, five, six, seven. Each of the players can look at their cards. We'll put the deck in the center and flip a card up. The first player has to play a red card with a card which uh, signifies magma. So I'm looking for magma, and when I have a magma card, I put it down and I read it out loud. Magma created when rocks melt. Now it's the next player's turn. They either need to play a magma card or they need to play a card that turns magma into something else. You'll notice that the little blocks on the cards help the students know if they're playing the, the correct card at the right time. And so I'm looking for red, or I'm looking for something that changes magma into something else, or a magma card. And this player has a magma card, so they put it down saying, created when rocks melt. Then the next player has to look for magma, or something that changes magma, for example, cooling and crystallizing, changes magma into igneous rock. Then it's my turn to play an igneous rock. If I don't have an igneous rock, and if I don't have something that changes igneous into a different rock type, then I pick a card, and if I can, I play it right now, and if I don't, if I can't play it, then I say rock on, and it's the next player's turn. And this we continue in this fashion until the game, until someone runs out of cards and they are the winner of the game. So you can see it's a very fun game. The kids have a lot of fun with this. Um, there are pictures on each one of the cards that have different rock types in each of the categories so they get to know which kind of rocks go which, with which category. So if you'd like to play this game, just go to my website. It's www.thomasleanne.com. I've invented a total of five different games, science-related games, that you can play with your students. So look at my website and try them out. Thank you.